It's around about this time of year where you get two different messages and they both don't make sense with each other. The first one, oh my god guys, it's Christmas, Merry Christmas, I hope you're doing well. You can eat whatever you like guys, you can eat everything, be indulgent, be as fucking indulgent as you like, yay! I also don't have anything to wear on my head that resembles Christmas, yay! But then you also get this message. Alright guys, Merry Christmas, are you excited? Are we excited? Yeah, go on, be indulgent, be as fucking indulgent as you like, but don't eat too much because seriously, New Year's Day, we're gonna tell you to freaking lose all that weight or you're gonna be shamed. You see what I mean? These two messages around about Christmas, indulge yourself as much as you like and oh, but that Christmas weight and you're gonna have to lose it and in New Year, they don't, they can't coexist with each other. They are two opposing ideas that we are consistently told. And you know what? I'm just going to say that one of them, the second one about losing weight in New Year, is utter bullshit. It's just bull. Christmas should be a time where you can enjoy yourself and have time with friends and family and you eat the food that you want to eat. Christmas will always be the time of eating a lot of food. But because we have a culture that is so fixated on how you look and what you weigh and being slim and thin is seen as the westernized body ideal in our society, we somehow can't enjoy ourselves because we're consistently told every time and we're socially conditioned to feel that we are not good enough and that we should have to change our body and change ourselves. Hence why we put labels on healthy and unhealthy and good and bad. We put these labels on foods. There is this precise reason Reason. And guess what? Diet culture, that's what it is. It's basically diet culture and diet culture sneaks in around Christmas and it also sneaks in at Easter, but primarily it sneaks in at Christmas. It doesn't sleep and it wants to make our lives a living hell. And that can be a problem for so many people. So many people find that they can't enjoy Christmas anymore because of it. And so many people who have eating disorders, not because of the diet industry in case, but because of other ideas, find that they really can't enjoy Christmas because there is so much food around. You might cross a line with your eating disorder that your eating disorder isn't exactly happy with and it's going to shout at you down the end of the line. And not only that, but eating disorders voices, if anyone will know, are scary as hell, aren't they? When you go against them, they sort of shout at you like Dumbledore shouted at Harry Potter. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? It's, it's like that, isn't it? Instead, it's less humorous, but you kind of get the picture. I distinctly remember from the year 2013 to about 2015, I distinctly hated Christmas just because I wasn't happy in myself, then an ED came along, and then I wasn't happy with myself because I was binge eating all the time. And so Christmas was a really hard time for me and it put a lot of stress on me and I don't know how much it put a stress on my family. So, let's make this a body positive Christmas so that you can stick your two fingers and you can flip at every diet message that comes your way because we're going to flip the bird at the diet industry and that the societal needs. Here is how to try and have a Bopo free Christmas. Let me put a little positive disclaimer here just so you don't have a lot of pressure on yourself. If you try these steps and you find that some days you can't have a positive, body positive, guilt free Christmas this year, that's totally fine. It doesn't always have to be that you have to be happy about your body all the time and that you feel guilt free all the time. This is a learning process and it's a progress. This is progress in your life and it's not also just for Christmas. You can take these and you can take them through to your new year and your next year because January, let's face it, those people that go on a diet Oh my god, they are so boring. You can take this into the new year and flip the bird every time someone tries to tell you about their diet. Trust me, I do it in my own head. But don't put too much stress on yourself if you find that you have one bad day, two bad days, three bad days, as many bad days as you have this Christmas, but yet you had also some good days. If you feel like, oh no, I didn't have as much many good days as I did bad days, totally fine we're all human beings we're gonna go through this together I can't be positive all the time sometimes with my body I'm finding it extremely difficult this year so let's all give ourselves a hug around the camera and let's talk about how we can have a body positive guilt-free Christmas tip number one if you're with your family this Christmas, then do let them know that you don't want to talk about diets, you don't want to talk about calories. 
diets and calories and guilt and all those words, those little buzzwords that you hear in the diet industry and in the diet culture around you, just let your family know when, if you're really close to them that you don't want to hear those this year and instead you just want to focus on having a happy happy time with your family and with your friends because we do it unconditionally and unconsciously we can talk about why we are so guilty and also with your family you might find that maybe some parts of your family are so invested in the health industry and the and like the diet industry themselves that they sort of forget that sometimes it might affect people. Try and be as honest as you can and just try and say it in a polite way so that you don't cause any arguments. But even if you do say it in a polite way and you cause an argument, don't worry, Christmas is all about arguments, guys. Tip number two. One of my favourite things that I ever did so that I didn't have to look at any calories and I don't know if this will work, I'm just going to share this with you, was that I used to sellotape things. So I have here a packet of Pringles and the bit where it tells you all the nutritional information and all the calorie stuff, I just used to tape around it so that no one and not even me could see it. And it was great because then we didn't have to talk about it with friends. It was just great. Of course, they might have thought I was a little bit strange, but I don't mind. It helped my mental health and maybe it can help you as well. So yeah, maybe this Christmas, if you're having friends, you're gonna do a Christmas movie night or something and you just don't want to talk about calories with your friends and you go, oh my God, is this really what's in a packet of Pringles? Oh my God, Sheila darling, Sheila, did you know that this was much in a packet of Pringles? Just sellotape around that packet of Pringles. Sellotape every snack you have. Just every snack. Just sellotape it. Just go for it. Go nuts with the sellotape. Oh, but make sure it's the sellotape that isn't clear, because if you do the sellotape and it's clear, then you've, it, it, it defeats the purpose of what you're trying to do. Tip number three. If you really feel food guilt, if you sincerely have some food guilt, and you don't even have, have to have an eating disorder for this, we can all feel food guilt at any time in our lives. We don't have to have an eating disorder to specifically have it. We're consistently told this message. You can go and take a walk. I'm very lucky in that when I go home to my family, I live in the village and so I can just put on my trainers and I can just walk out and I'm immediately hit with countryside. It's one of the perks of living in the country. Just take a walk, just take a walk. Maybe listen to your earphones or your headphones or listen to what's outside and maybe just think through why do I feel this way? Why am I consistently told to feel this way? What's the message behind this? Why do I feel this way? Why should I feel this way? And just question yourself every now and again and just check in with yourself and see if you're okay. Last of all, be kind to yourself. Just, it's so easy for me to say be kind to yourself when you go, that's easy for you to say, I do not like myself. And that's okay. You will have days where you don't like yourself, but this Christmas, just be kinder to yourself and don't beat yourself up. And also, this New Year's, maybe if you are the one that consistently talks about, I'm gonna go on a diet, this is my news resolution, I'm gonna go on a diet, go on a diet, go on a diet, and they fail, and you then get upset, maybe this year it's the time to maybe experiment with not going on a diet uh, after New Year and just see how you feel. Because I can consistently tell you that diets don't work and I genuinely believe that diets don't work and a lot of people in the body positive community will tell you that diets don't work. But maybe it has to come down to you to find out if a diet doesn't work and it has to be your realization with the help of everyone in the body positive community. If you want to have any help this Christmas in terms of being body positive at Christmas, there are some wonderful accounts. There's Mindset for Limited or Scarred Not Scared. There is Body Posy Panda, one of my favorites. There are loads and loads of people and I will link some wonderful people down below in the comments. Most of them are from Instagram and just if you have an Instagram account, just follow them this Christmas. They've been so helpful for me every day. If I feel some food guilt, I just scroll down these people. They're just so, so wonderful to follow. And this year, make sure that you have a body positive, guilt-free Christmas. And also be kind to yourself this Christmas because we are not kind to ourselves. And it's time that we have some self-care this year. I hope this video has been useful. It's been really useful for me today to talk about this a lot. 
It's also been really fun to film this video for you, so I'm glad, hope you enjoy it. If you did like it, please give me a like down below. If you want to comment below with some opinions or some ideas that you have around Christmas, then please do let me know in the comments below. There's also a, uh, a sub sub button. There's a sib sib button. So sib to that button. <laughs> you know what the button is. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, then please click down on the subscribe video. I'm doing a vlog every day for Vlogmas, and there's Vlogmas as much as I can. And I will see you in the next vlog. Okay, bye. Did you put your name in the goblet of fire?